Hello everybody, this is John Brewer. Today on Lardship Combat 101, we're going to discuss how to thwart automated turrets. Both missile and gatling turrets in Space Engineers are in automatic firing mode by default. They rotate quickly and always know exactly where their target is. They do follow some fairly simple rules though, and therefore can be avoided by using some fairly simple rules. Let's go over those today. First, I want to mention that when doing tests, it is important to note that turrets will never engage ships that have the same owner as themselves. So make sure your test rig has its own owner set up before you start. Understanding the behavior of automated turrets is critical to defeating them. Turrets have a maximum range. They will only engage targets inside this range, and will immediately stop shooting at a target that passes out of this range. Objects inside this range will be targeted in the following order. First of all, the turrets will target decoys. Decoys are components that can be added to a ship. If there is a decoy in the turret's range, it will immediately target it and begin firing. If there are no decoys in the turret's range, and it's configured to engage moving targets, it will engage ships moving at any speed in its range. Once a turret begins shooting at a particular target, it will continue shooting at that target until it is destroyed or passes out of range. The exception to this rule is that a turret shooting at a ship will change targets if a decoy enters its range. When executing an attack on a target defended by turrets, the first way to defeat these turrets is by using a decoy to draw fire away from the fighters or missiles executing the main attack. It is critical to remember that the decoy will only draw fire as long as it is intact, so protecting it is very important. The second way to defeat the turrets is to make sure they don't hit their targets. As we discussed in the Firing Solutions videos, firing directly at a target that has a significant angular speed with respect to the turret will cause the rounds to miss. How fast a ship must be moving depends on the target's apparent size and the range. For example, a 5 meter wide ship must move at least 2.5 meters to the side by the time a shot coming off of the turret reaches them. For rockets traveling at 500 meters per second, that means a fighter 200 meters away needs to be traveling at least 6.25 meters sideways to avoid being hit, preferably much more. The same ship 50 meters away would need to be side strafing at 25 meters per second. These speeds are easily reachable, but they must be carefully maintained as rockets can quickly destroy small ships and even well-armored missiles. Note that this kind of evasion only works well on missile turrets. Gatling turrets appear to spread fire widely enough to hit even fast-moving targets. This has been a brief review of the mechanics of automated turrets in Space Engineers. Thank you for watching. I'm John Brewer. Come and learn from my mistakes.